Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to this little corner of the internet. I really hope that you're doing well. Um, if you watch my videos quite frequently, you can probably see that the background is very different. It's a lot more floral. And the reason for that is because I flew back to France for a little bit. I'm leaving back tomorrow, back to the UK. And that's because I haven't been feeling very well lately. Um, and I just wanted to get out of the UK to be with myself a little bit more, reflect on what was happening. But the crux of the matter, is that I haven't been feeling well lately. And that's what I wanna to talk to you guys about. I wanna be vulnerable and like, just show that life is made out of these ups and downs and try to maybe give you a, a guide as to how to navigate when you're going through an ebb of life, when you're going through a bit of a lower moment. Um, because I've been through my fair share and I know that a fair share of them are on their way still. Life is made of ups and downs and I feel like having motivation or a clear guide and you know reassuring words for this could be useful and so as i'm telling them to you guys i'm also reminding these things to myself to help me through this ebb because once the ebb is over i'll be back in my flow and i'll be back in a in a high of life so i wrote down a couple points that i wanted to mention on my phone and i'm going to be going through them with you guys and the first thing i want to say is that when we're going through these sort of moments in life we really just need to accept that they're there. We need to accept that it's part of life. Life is meant to have ups and downs. It's life is not meant to only be happy and jolly and great all the time. Because if, we, if it was always good, we wouldn't appreciate how good the goods are, you know what I mean? If it was always this positive high, we just wouldn't really appreciate it anymore. And we need to have the lows to teach us things. Um, it's just part of life. There's this really great analogy that I love is that, I mean, if you're a medical student, you probably know what an ECG or EKG looks like. It's full of ups and downs and ups and downs. It kind of tells you what's happening to the electrical system of your heart. Um, and basically, if you flatline, if there's no more up and down, you're dead. Um, and so it, a lot of people use this analogy as like, if at one point in time you don't have ups and you don't have downs and you're just comfortable, nothing really happens, you're basically dead. You're stagnant. And that's not something that you want to be in. In life. The other thing that I want to talk to you guys about today is what my parents were telling me on the phone the other day is that we just have to feel all of it. We have to allow ourselves to feel all the emotions, even if some emotions are not as comfortable to sit with, but it's really important to sit with them, cry if you need to, be angry if you need to, shout if you need to, and just let those waves go through you because if you try to repress them, it's not something that's gonna be conducive and positive in the future. It just means that you are going to, at one point, really explode. And just letting them go through you as they're happening is a lot better. Because once you've processed it, once it's been through you, you don't have to think about it anymore, oftentimes. So yeah, I do think that that's a very important thing. It's probably the most like uncomfortable thing to do, but honestly, in the, in the long run, it's going to be really good. Knowing how to sit with your emotions and just feel them understand where they come from is really important. I, I'm reading this book at the moment called Manifest by Roxy Lefusi, Lefusi, and she also talks about this, saying that um, if you had a stiff neck, you would do everything to like go see a chiropractor, stretch it out to try and like not have that stiff neck anymore, because if you know that if you do nothing, it's gonna get worse. And it's the same thing with your feelings. You need to learn how to stretch them out, feel them, you know, go see somebody who's gonna help you navigate them, because if you do bottle them up, they're gonna get worse. They just really are gonna get worse. The third thing that I wanna tell you in this little guide is to be your friend. We're often our harshest critic. Yeah, oftentimes it's important to sit through, to sit and be like, okay, if this was my best friend going through this, if this was my partner going through this, what would I tell them? What are the calming, reassuring words that I would use? Surely I wouldn't tell them, oh, you're gonna stay in this forever. Like, come on, just like pick yourself back up and be, feel better. You would just, you just really wouldn't say those things to your friend. And so sometimes it's important to be like, okay, let me say the things to myself that I would tell my friend and actually believe them. And I think that's that's one part that I kind of struggle with a lot. I don't always speak to myself in my head, at least very nicely. I'm sometimes quite harsh and I think it's something that I need to remind myself of to just be my own friend and treat myself the same way that I would treat my closest friends. The fourth thing is to listen to your needs. If you feel within yourself, hey, I need to just get out of this country, if possible, do that. If you feel like, oh, I just need like a weekend away and to sit down with my own self and my thoughts and bring a journal, do that. Like just try to see what is possible and feasible within your own life. Because obviously not everybody can just take a suitcase and leave and go to a separate country. Sometimes you have classes, sometimes you have a family, you have children, you have responsibilities, you have a job but 
try to find the next best thing. If it's like, okay, for this week, I just want to feel like to be in bed by nine and have three hours of my time of just being with myself and you know reflecting on things just try to do the, the next best thing for yourself that will allow to soothe you and help you process whatever you're processing the next thing which i think for me is like the really positive point is that reframe this whole thing that's happening within your life you're getting an upgrade just reframe it like that i'm getting an upgrade i'm getting a software upgrade i'm kind of like the apple you know when like you're getting an upgrade and like there's a little, little apple sign on your phone and then it's like loathing you're kind of right there you're like starting to load and sometimes it's been comfortable it takes some time to load and then finally you open your phone and it's all new there's like oh you have new features and you've unlocked new things it's the exact same thing but right now you're just loading a new upgrade and just sit with that knowing that like hey i'm going through this pain i'm going through periods of uncomfort discomfort i'm not feeling my best self at the moment i'm not riding on the high that i usually ride on but it's because I'm learning new things. It's because I'm growing. It's the whole analogy of the lobster. The lobster has to be uncomfortable and crack its shell before they can grow and like get a new shell basically. So right now I'm just a lobster. I'm just a little uncomfortable and cracking my shell and growing. But it means that when I'll be on the other side of this, I would have a new upgrade and I'll be like a whole new version of myself. Not whole new version, but I'll be like a new version of myself, which is really great. And I just really like thinking about it that way. The last thing that I want to talk to you about is also just sometimes when we're feeling like this, we forget get to be grateful of what we already have. I think sometimes doing gratefulness exercises allows you to get out of like just a moment where, you know, yes, you've cried, you felt all the emotions, you feel like you've processed it, but you still feel a little bit like, mm, like, I don't feel like I can fall asleep. I don't feel like super great. Sometimes doing gratefulness exercises really help because you can't feel angry and and grateful you can't feel sad and grateful when you're being grateful you're just feeling grateful and sometimes it is nice to like zoom out a little bit and see the bigger picture see everything that you do have already that your whole support system everything that you do really appreciate and that really is a good feeling even when you're feeling low like having those little pockets of time where you're like oh even though I'm feeling this way, I still am super grateful for all of these things in my life. I said that was the last point, but I actually have a very last one. That one is very like person to person dependent, but I do think that it's not a good thing to cry alone. It's not a good thing to be going through, you know, when I said go through these emotions, like let them go through you and all of that. Yes, it's important, but sometimes I do think that it's nice to have somebody by your side that you trust that can just sit there with you um, and just stick it out with you while you're crying and like, you know, venting about whatever it is that you're going through. Um, crying alone is not a good feeling. At least I personally can't really do that. Um, and if I'm crying, I'll be, I'll always call someone. Either people would notice that I'm not feeling well and then sit with me, or I would call someone and be like, hey, like I, here's my venting session. Can you just listen to me? If you've never tried that, do try it. It's a very good way of feeling like you do have community and you do have people around you that will listen to you when you're going through tough times and also if you have people around you that are going through tough times offer that support offer to sit with them while they're going through it um that's that's always something that people would appreciate i mean some people obviously are like no leave me alone but i still do i still think that most people would like to have somebody by their side when they're going through it and then the last thing that i wanted to say is that yes i've given all of these tips but I'm still going through my own vibe and I don't have all the answers. I'm just giving you what has worked for me in the past, what seems to be working at the moment, but I'm not sitting here saying that I have everything figured out because it's completely not true. I'm not, I haven't got it figured out. I'm 21, I'm still learning and I'm getting my upgrade right now. Um, <laughs> I'm loading and I'm growing, but I wanted to help you guys with what it is that I do know at the moment what it is that has worked for me in the past in the hope that it could potentially work for you as well. But yeah, that was my sort of like short and sweet video for you. Um, and yeah, if you did enjoy it, please, oh my God, this, I need to, look at that, the sun is out. I need to like decrease my thing. Look at that, the sun is out. It's quite, isn't it like a quite a, like a positive, like kind of end to this video with the sun out, kind of a glimmer of hope. Oh, I really like that. That's really cute. I've just finished that and then the, the sun came out. Anywho, I hope that you're all doing well. Thank if you enjoyed the video, please, please, please subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video with other people that could benefit from it as well. And without further ado, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna edit this video, and yeah. Bye guys, I'll see you guys next week.